Yesterday, I unboxed my new Canon R5, and today, the grip came. So let's unbox this one and get started. Well guys, the FedEx man brought another gift today, and that is the BG R10 grip that goes with my Canon EOS R5 mirrorless camera. Let's go ahead and unbox this beauty and see how it fits on the camera and just sort of see how the weight and balance fills with this massive Sigma Art 85-1.4 lens. So we'll go ahead and open this up here. Okay, more instructions we're not gonna read. Maybe a warranty we're not gonna read. I always love that they put these things in here. Oh yes, a limited warranty for Australia. The last one was for Europe. Okay. So, we've got this thing wrapped in plastic. I'm sure it's gonna look great on the camera. All right, let's get this guy off of here. And let's see, do we need to do anything to make this work? I'm gonna go ahead and sit this box over, over this way. Okay, so on the bottom of, now see, maybe I should read the instructions. Okay, we gotta get the door off the bottom of the camera. So we'll just flip this door open, press this little tab right here, pushes the spring back and the door comes right off. Then the next thing we gotta do is to get the battery out. So we just push on the battery release, the battery comes out, and now we should be able just to slide this thing right on to the camera. And then just lock it down with this locking screw. Ah, you know what though? I forgot something. I think on the 5D versions of this grip, you put the door inside a little um, tab in the grip so you don't lose it. Let's go ahead and see if that's in there. Maybe I should have uh, read the instructions. Okay, there is a spot for it. There's a little uh, indicator right here of where you put it. So we'll just get it in here. This video probably would have been a lot shorter had I read the directions. <laughs> a lot shorter. Oh, come on. All right, there we go. Okay, let's put it back on. All right, if you've ever used one of these before, if you don't have it completely tight and the screw comes a little bit loose, sometimes you will lose electrical contacts and all of a sudden you'll think your battery's dead, but it really isn't. You've just sort of uh, lost connection. So just make sure this is good and tight um, every now and then. All right, so we'll take out the battery magazine and we'll snap our battery in place. Okay, this is the same. It just fits a little tighter than the 5D versions. Okay, maybe I'm wrong. Okay, so it says in the picture that I should insert it with one side and then snap it into place the other direction. And that's what worked. Okay, so the 5D batteries, you would slide them in this direction. I guess these ones you're going to slide in, um, rocking them in place. And then it looks like we'll use these white tabs to release it. Okay, so a new design, basically. Didn't see that one coming. Okay, so that's locked into place. We'll load it into the camera. 
Check that out. Okay. Fits in there. All right, so no longer can my pinky fall over uh, and end up under the camera, so that's a good thing. Um, I think I kind of wish that there were like little, little indentations here for your hand so it would feel better. I mean, I have really big hands um, in comparison to the camera. Um, so, but my hands are gonna be a lot bigger than most people's hands, so it's probably not a valid criticism, but maybe that would feel better for me. I don't know. All right, let's put the lens on, or the lens and the adapter on. Good thing they didn't change how that works. I'd still be reading the manual. Okay, so um, this does feel more solid. Um, not solid, um, secure, I think. It doesn't feel like I'm losing my grip and it feels a little more balanced. Maybe if I had both batteries in, it'd be more balanced, but really that's not the camera's fault. It's the fact that I have this giant lens on here. So, okay. Well, at least it looks better <laughs> with the grip on. And I know I'm gonna get twice the battery life and I'm going to actually be able to use the vertical button. Okay, now actually, this feels a lot better. Um, how is it possible that this feels better than the main one? Okay, this is rather strange. I feel like the grip itself is going into the bottom of my hand and uh, these, these buttons right here, because my hand is so big and that's what's causing me to feel less comfort. Whereas going vertical, it actually feels a lot better. It feels really good, which I guess it's a good thing then that almost all the time you see me, I'm holding the camera like this, shooting a portrait. So um, I guess we'll see if this causes me to go vertical uh, even more often. Anyway, guys, I hope this was interesting and somewhat helped. Maybe it'll teach you to read the manual next time and don't dive in like a fool. Um, anyway, if you're watching this on Instagram TV, just know that you can always watch these videos sooner on my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave those below. And I will talk to you guys soon. Stay safe.